What was your, your guru's name? T. Krishnamacharya. What were the yoga teachings that he imparted? How to keep the body under control. So you, at that time, you were just looking at... at Purely on a physical level. Purely on a physical level. He was, no doubt my Guruji was a great philosopher. And did he teach you that philosophy while you were... I told you it took me six years after yoga to get, gain health. When health was not there, what can I think of philosophy? Tell me. So I was struggling, just let me stand on my feet. The philosophical teaching came to me only after 1960, not before. What, what, is, what is the goal of yoga? By the grace of God. It's a subjective way of you know, eradicating the, the instinctive weaknesses of human beings. It may be quick, for some it may be slow, but change has to take place, transformation has to take place, whoever it may be, in whatever average intellectual condition they are. The, but asana then, the way you're describing it, it's, it's, a, it's a preparation for receiving uh, the spiritual... No doubt it's a preparation, but everything is hidden in it also. Yoga can take a man into two ways of living, enjoyment of life or liberation in life. So does it not matter that if... My, I, it doesn't I, matter at all. You want to improve, I want to improve, same. Yeah. You want to be a better intelligent man, I want also to be a better intelligent man. That's a huge relief that you say that, Guruji. Um, I'm, I'm basically uh, you know, a man of this earth and I don't have much uh, religion or anything, but lots of yoga teachers talk about how this is all a goal to connecting with uh, this higher self and, and, and the Brahman. The, the channels are open both ways, I'm telling you now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is how you use it. <laughs>